Hi, um, I'm, I'm Brian Cortell uh, uh, from uh, Team Revenge of Pyro Borg. Pyro uh, Borg is a little red robot on top of Revenge. Um, he competed last year and uh, he got absolutely beaten up by the, uh, the big pirate ship, so he's, he's out for Revenge. Um, please, can you describe your robot? So, Revenge. It's a six-wheel drive robot, so there's six motors, one for each of the wheels, and uh, it's, it's got two raspberry pies in the B configuration, but this one does all the, all the controlling and driving. Um, it has a, a touch interface, so you can touch the screen and put it. In and out control, so I can choose the different challenges pre programmed into the, the thing from the screen, so I don't need to use a keyboard or, a, or remember which buttons to press. Um, it's, it's powered un underneath with that. Let's uh, take the little boy off. So Underneath you've got the battery supply, it's actually a LiPo battery which you have to be careful with because they can be quite dangerous. Uh, it's made out of lithium so possibility of mystery it could explode. Um, but as long as you, you follow the rules and handle them they're, they're, they're not too dangerous. Uh, we can also see it's got the sensors for doing the um, oh, the uh, closest to the wall challenge, I can't remember, proximity alert, and um, for the three point turn, it's uh, got encoders, and they go on to, the, there's an Arduino underneath there, which stops to the raspberry, uh, the serial port, and the encoders can tell when it changes from uh, black to white, and, and that actually gives a count of how far the wheels turn around. So they're able to use it in a three point turn to make a guess. And it's controlled by a PS3 controller. So it's got a top speed of about four, four miles an hour, so it's a, it's a fast walking pace. And with the battery it's got, it will run three or four hours without a problem. I'm looking forward to the obstacle course. I think I think you should do well in that. Um, out of all the ones it's done, so so far, three point turns have been the best the best event for him, and he's done okay down the speed challenge as well. It's having a nice balance of uh, power and torque, and choosing components that that uh, allow to. Uh, for reliability, it's, it's making the robot as reliable as possible is the secret for winning.